Welcome to your watercolor sample video demonstration. You will receive a card that you will have to label salt, wet on dry, wet on wet, rubbing alcohol, and crayon. You can number it in any order you want to. You will have your own card. Make sure you put your first name, last name, and period on your card. You will have your own painting brush. You can recognize the painting brushes because it has a clear red bottom here. It's a acrylic bottom. You will also have a cup of water that you're going to share. You're also going to share a set of watercolors with another person at your table. With your whole entire table, you will be sharing something called rubbing alcohol. You might recognize it as something you put cuts on and it kind of stings. You will also have a cup of salt that you're going to share with everybody at your table. A crayon that you're going to share with everybody at your table. It's going to come in a little kit that's like this. You're also going to have a cruddy brush. I call this a cruddy brush because it's not the best brush in the whole wide world. So you want to make sure that you have the one that says praying on it. Now, I don't mean to be rude to praying. Praying makes wonderful everything else, except the watercolor brushes that come in the set aren't quite the best. But I do love all their other products. So please, praying, do not be mad at me. All right, so for the salt technique, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have your cup of uh, rubbing alcohol kind of far away from your water cup because you don't want to get them mixed up. You also want to have your cruddy brush, the one that you're going to share with your table, kind of far away so you don't get everything mixed up. What you want to have with you is your paper towel because you'll need it, your set of watercolors you're sharing, and here we go. You're going to wet your brush. Hopefully the person in front of you, ahead of you in the other class, wash the brush. Then you're going to pick a color, and then you're going to paint. All right, so this is going to be a salt technique. I'm going to open up the cup of salt. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly drizzle on some salt and I'm going to let it dry. Leave it alone. Now, the next one I want to do is wet on dry. So what I need to do for now is I need to make sure to kind of get my brush pretty dry. And I'm going to dab it just a little bit. Dry it off some more, and then you want to use the brush where it doesn't have a lot of water on it. You can make really nice fine lines. Unfortunately with these brushes they get kind of a little bit abused, so it's hard to make those skinny lines. Now I want to wipe as much pigment as I want off my brush, lightly dab it in some water, wipe it on the paper towel, wipe the pigment off. Now I'm going to do wet on wet. For the wet on wet, let's say I'm going to pick the color orange. paint orange on here and while it's still wet right that's still wet I'm gonna hurry up dab off the orange off on my paper towel put a little water dab off the orange then I'm gonna say let's go for a black then while it's still wet I'm gonna paint on there and I can even dab on there what it's gonna do it's gonna bleed and separate wipe the black off there you always want to wipe all your pigments off. See, there's my purple, there's my orange. Dab it in the water a little bit, then wipe it off. You see, I'm mainly cleaning on my paper towel. Now we have rubbing alcohol. All right, let's get ready, kids. You're going to take the cup with the rubbing alcohol. You're going to place it in front of you. You're going to set aside your water cup. Then you're going to take your cruddy brush. You're going to use the cruddy brush with the rubbing alcohol. All right, so you're going to have that close by. I'm going to put my salt aside because I do not need it. I'm going to take my painting brush, dip it in the water. Then let's say I'm going to use blue this time. You can use whatever color you want. Then I'm going to really pile that on there. I want to have some water and I want to have some pigment. Alright, then I'm going to take the cruddy brush. I'm going to place it into the rubbing alcohol, set it over top, and then lightly tap it and it's gonna create this alcohol resist, as you can see. The key, pigment first with your paint, then with the cruddy brush rubbing alcohol. All right, so now I'm gonna wipe my blue pigment off now. 
rinse it, wipe it on the paper towel. Remember, make sure you have your own paper towel. Crayon resist. So crayon resist, you want to draw something, maybe you write a message, please keep it clean. All right, I'm gonna wet my painting brush, and let's say I can use brown. Then I'm gonna paint over it. And then it acts as a crayon resist. And as you can see, it starts to come up. All right, and you can do that with any of the colors. All right, that's it. Now I'm gonna show you how to clean, but let's do that in the next video.